Hey guys, making a quick video on CPR, just see, just uh, compressions and breathing. So the compression to breathing ratio is 30 compressions for every two breaths, okay? And I'm gonna go over why the depth is so important and why the ratio is so important. So as soon as somebody goes into cardiac arrest, so what does cardiac arrest mean? That means that there is no respiration and that means that there is no heartbeat. So if your patient is not breathing, uh, has no heart rate, then they are in cardiac arrest. Now there is this one thing called agonal respirations, respirations, and I'm sure I spelled wrong, but you guys can look it up, it's not a big deal. Agonal respirations are deep breaths with long pauses. That is not considered a respiration. That is your body's reaction to it dying. So if your patient is not breathing normally with a good pattern, it's not really considered breathing. All right, so if your patient has no respirations or agonal respirations and no heart rate, they are in cardiac arrest. You want to start off, um, you know, once you uh, confirm that your patient is in cardiac arrest, after you check the pulse, check for responsiveness, you want to make sure that you put your the heel of your hand, that's the heel right there, on the lower half of the, the sternum. So this is a sternum right here that I drew, right? This is a, the, a person's chest, arms, and these are the ribs. So the sternum, you wanna put it on the lower half of the sternum, and you wanna avoid the xiphoid process, which is a little bone that sticks out of the sternum. If you go too low and you crack this off, it could puncture something, so make sure you put your, your hand placement is good. On a patient that's anatom anatomically correct or you know in, in decent shape, you can draw an imaginary nipple line and then midline and put your, the heel of your hand right there. That usually tends to work. Now you want to go in at least two inches in depth. The reason you want to go in two inches, inches in depth is because you really want to squeeze that heart to pump that blood to the tissues of the body to, per, to perfuse the body because the body needs O2. So that's why you want to go in at least two inches in depth and you want to go in at 30. So 30 compressions at two inches each one in depth. After you give 30 compressions, you want to do a head tilt chin lift. So you want to tilt the head this way. The reason you're doing that is because the tongue is a muscle. So if your patient is unconscious in cardiac arrest, this muscle is going to relax and fall back. And it's going to completely obstruct the airway so no air is going to be able to get in or out. Because the tongue is going to be over here and it's going to be blocking the airway. By doing a head tilt chin lift, you're tucking that tongue up, you're bringing it up, and you're opening the airway. Go ahead and give two breaths and no more. So if you give a breath on the first time, it doesn't go in, go ahead and readjust the head, readjust something, go ahead and give another breath. If it doesn't work, oh well. Go back to your compressions. Compressions matter more because your patient still has oxygen in their system, and by pumping the blood through the system, you're still gonna create some kind of perfusion. So that's why it's so important. We care more about compressions than we do about your breathing when it comes to adult patients. That's it, that's what. That's the core of this little video. The reason you do it, why it's so important. A uh, little crash course. Hope you guys got some value. See you next time, bye.